back everybody. Today we're gonna check out PowerSmart's string trimmer. It's a uh, 40 volt. Should be pretty good. Just want to give you a quick look at how it comes. Packed in there and I'll pull all this out in just a second. Um, the only thing different here is that the uh, the charger there was in a bag. I just pulled everything out uh, last night to charge everything and get it ready for the video. So first thing we do is pull all of this out and take a look at everything. Okay, so here's a look at everything all laid out. It's not rocket science how these two pieces go together. And uh, over here we've got the guard. There's where it cuts the string off to length. And it's also got a wheel on it because it also does a, you can put it up on a 90 degree angle and edge with it. You know, like um, the edge for the uh, grass. And then we just got some screws. And I'll read the instruction. That's probably for attaching the handle. There's four holes there. And it, got, it has <laughs> two spools of string. I don't know what size it is. I'll find out by the next scene. And this looks like a cushion. So I'll take a quick look at the instructions and uh, we'll get it together. Okay, to install the guard, you simply expand it and snap it into these holes that are on either side here. The guard is the thing that keeps you from hitting the fences and stuff. But you don't have to have that on. I think that's optional. But now to um, install the shroud, you're going to have to take this screw out and then put it back in. I'll show you. Okay, to attach the two shaft ends together, you simply slide it onto there and you've got to line up this keyway here. See that yellow part goes in to that opening. And I will demonstrate that in a second. And then you just pull this sleeve over, which is tapped on the inside, and it screws onto there. So something that I just noticed is that it comes with the head on there and it's loaded with string. And then you also get, as I just showed earlier, those two additional spools of string. So there's three spools in there, I think. Anyway, this is handy for like if you're working on the instructions and it's a windy day, you can use the other two spools to hold the instructions open. So at this point we're going to be putting on the handle and there is a look at how that goes. Basically, that rubber piece, which is right there, that's for dampening to uh, reduce the vibrations um, for the handle. And that goes under the handle, and then you just assemble the two sides, either side of it. And I'll kind of uh, mock that up and show that next. Okay, so I have it upside down now, as you can see, and that's to illustrate exactly how this is going to go on. Because you have to line up that hole in the rubber sleeve with the screw on the bottom plate. And then, you, of course, you take, that, take out that screw and screw it through that hole and into the shaft itself. And we'll do that right now.
There we go. So pushing down, of course, was compressing the rubber gasket in there, and that's what was uh, making up the distance there so that the uh, screw could tap into the aluminum. Okay, so now we got to put in these four hex screws, or hex, the bolts, into that plastic um, piece there so that the uh, bolts can come in through the other side. Oh yeah, look what I just did, isn't that great? I'll never get that out of it. So I'll turn it off now and get that out with another screwdriver. Okay, back in action. Do you want to bet I'm about to do that again? You know what? They're just going to go in there by magic. They'll be in there in the next scene, by magic. Okay, good news. The uh, magic worked. The uh, bolts are in there now. Or the nuts. The, the hex nuts. And the bolts are actually in there as well. I put the uh, bottom side of the handle on there and we're about to drive those... Oh, I'll flip it over so you can see now that I've got it this far. Okay, here's a look at the top side now. As you can see, we're about to put those bolts in and be done with this. Okay, so now that we've got it all together, except for the battery stuff, to insert the battery to get it to work, I just wanted to show you, if you look up close here, you've got these two bright buttons. See, that's what I was talking about with the uh, spools holding the instructions down. Sometimes, though. Sometimes. Anyway, what I wanted to show is the way the head articulates to accommodate for edging or anything else you might want to do. So let me demonstrate that now. So as you can see there, you're set up to do any variation of the angles that you want. Uh, so now I've got it set up at 90 degrees. This is how you would have it set up to do edging. And I think that's where we're going to start. We're going to start up by doing some edging down here. We'll move the book and uh, see how it does with the edging there. Okay, so it looks like it is a manual feed, like if the, uh, the, the string wears down, you have to advance it yourself, I think. Uh, I'll read the instructions and uh, correct myself if I need to, but I'll show you that little button on the right, and then you pull on the string on the left, so we'll demonstrate that now. There and as it's spinning, it will. Uh, if you go too far, that knife there will cut it off to the correct length. Okay, let's do some edging.
Okay, so here's a look at how it edged. It's going to take some getting used to. I'm used to a very different edger. But it did just fine. I think as you're learning, you're going to go through a lot of string because the edge is sharp, the, the concrete or the brick, and uh, it cuts the line off. See right there? There's where I've got to learn how to keep the line straight. I totally missed right there. But otherwise it did fine. And now what we'll do is we'll go to location to one of my yards for the weed whacking to show a little more of a challenge for it. But it did just fine. much wraps it up it's I just did a basic test on it I did not exhaust the battery but if for an example everything that you saw there if you look at the indicator I have not recharged and we are showing it's still fully charged of course it's not actually fully charged at this point but still got a full charge even after all that so I have to imagine longevity is pretty much what they say and I don't know what they say, so hopefully I'm putting that on the screen right now. It is probably as stated. 
Now if you're wondering if it's heavy because of the big battery in the back, actually it's just balanced because you have the battery in the back and then you have the electric motors in the front, which are the two things that weigh a lot. In between the two, you're holding out on the handle, it's just balanced. It does. It's not hard to hold. Um, okay, so it uh, cuts pretty good. I was really surprised at the edging. Um, cut nice and sharp. Ironically, I didn't edge this part here. But um, now I was happy to see that this guard flips up and out of the way if you don't want it. Um, and I prefer not to use it, so it's handy to get it out of the way. Um, otherwise, the uh, I think that it could easily spend more string. I think that if you wanted to take that knife blade off to run a little bit more string, it wears itself down so fast because the uh, line is uh, skinny. I don't think that you're going to uh, um, feed out too much, really. Um, uh, that's about it, I guess. All I can think of, anyway. It did pretty good. Now, it's certainly not a commercial. I'm, it's pretty strong, but it's certainly not at a commercial level. Level, um, Maybe it is. I saw another brand, another, not another brand, but another model from PowerSmart that was actually running a brush cutting metal blade on it. So I guess it's uh, strong enough to do it. And maybe the shaft, in, no, there's no shaft. There is no shaft. Um, so the motor by itself is strong enough to turn even a metal blade. I have to experiment around with that. But it is nice that it is uh, kind of, um, oh, what you would call it, uh, multiple angles you can put it at, articulating, uh, to get it to the right level, because I had to adjust it a lot to find the right spot. And that's it. So down in the description and the top pinned comment, you will see how to get it. I'll have the uh, PowerSmart link and the Amazon link. And I appreciate you watching.